Elvis here. I've been watching a lot of videos on the internet and uh, just wanted to show you guys my lab. This is my first video. I'll be making many more. Um, I wanted to share with everyone what I'm doing through produce hydrogen and wanted to uh, contribute to everyone else's work and maybe uh, give some people some ideas to uh, better themselves. Kind of wanted to show you around. I'm out, I'm out in my garage. Um, these are the few of the hydrogen cell containers that I'm going to make uh, cells with. Got a little... All this is here is a, uh, a thermos. Rather small, but... Should make a nice small unit for tight spaces in a car. It's that one, and I've got I've seen a couple other people on the net using these. This is a water filtration canister, and. Uh, bottom of it screws off. Real heavy duty, heavy duty plastic. I can think these can withstand uh, somewhere around 140 PSI. Um, pretty ideal for a hydrogen cell. So I'll be making this into a uh, hydrogen cell for my uh, my vehicle. My project is a uh, 2000 Dodge Neon. Eventually get the cell on that and uh, see how much uh, added fuel mileage I can get out of it. Uh, got a little bubbler here. All I did was I made this out of it's a, just a spice jar plastic spice jar. And pretty simple, but uh, that's all I had around to start with. This was my first cell. It's taken apart now. All this is is 4 inch ABS pipe. About 12 inches tall. Threaded at the top. Thread on the cap. And this is uh, my power source. It's a 12 volt car battery and a 10 amp charger. That's what I'll be using. And then here I've got, that's what I do all my testing in. Out of my test chamber. Put it down in there. I haven't quite got it done yet. And I have the uh, stainless steel positive and negative coming off the top here. I'll be able to stick a stick a cell down in test it and uh, modify it see what works best I know a lot of people are using the uh, these are stainless steel most everybody's using stainless steel um, I found it easy to just use these stainless steel switch covers. They're just a blank switch cover. And uh, my understanding, they are high grade stainless steel, number 304. Um, you can get these at uh, one of the major home improvement chains. Dollar twenty-four each. So. I think they're about three and a half by five. 
I've kind of adapted the cell of, uh, uh, I don't know the, his first name, but Aaron's, kind of the Aaron cell. Very good design. This cell here is the one I'm uh, going to test out. It's a uh, 12 plate cell. Actually, I think it's 11. Um, every other cell, every other plate is uh, positive and negative. Eighth inch spacing in between. I used uh, nylon bolts to bind them, bind them together, and on the ends, just got a stack of washers in between each plate, spaced out, so I get a nice even spacing between the plates. the ends are cut out so that every other plate is a positive and then negative cut out on this side too. Probably won't use these connectors here. They'll do something a little bit different but these are going to extend up and we're going to bend them over and drill a quarter inch hole in them so that we can mount them to the uh, positive and negative studs coming out of there. And yeah, that's, that's my second design. My first design was a, uh, a four plate design. And uh, what we're going to do here is I eventually want to power this weed eater off of just hydrogen and I'll be making more videos and as, I, as my progress moves along and show everyone uh, that uh, we can do this anyway more videos to come Dell was here in my last video I said we were going to use this for a test chamber and uh, I made a little bit little mistake. What I did is I dropped the cell in and as you can see this is a stainless steel container. Turn the power on and uh, didn't realize that uh, I was making contact on the bottom. Threw a couple little arcs in the bottom and put three holes in it instantly. So uh, that's the end of that container. I'm not going to use that one anymore. So I, I picked this up at uh, one of the major uh, shopping chains. Acrylic uh, plastics got a little little lid on it with the, with the seal. So I'm going to use that as uh, my testing uh, chamber. And then I'm going to uh, test this 11 plate cell. Uh, what I've got here is a uh, plain old tap water. There's no electrolyte in there. Um, right now we're measuring about 13.27 volts. I don't have an amp meter yet. I've got one on order. But uh, we can kind of measure what we're pulling. Get a rough estimate from this uh, from how many amps the uh, charger's putting out. 
I also picked up this bottle at one of the shopping centers. Uh, we're going to use this to measure how many liters per minute we've got. It's got a graduated scale here all the way up to two liters. So I'm going to get to work on that so we can measure our output and test this uh, test this design here. Okay, so I'll be right back.